We travel the world looking for fun and new adventures. I'm Carrie. I'm Dave. Oh, we made it. Welcome to American Travelers. Welcome to Caribbean Brewing Company. Um, my name is Sunil, and it's spelled S-U-N-I-L, and if you go backwards, you get Linus. Let me give you a little idea what we're going to be doing today. So we're going to start with the light beer, uh, 3%, as a couple of you have already started. Then we're going to go into our award-winning Dutch Blonde beer. Then we're going to go downstairs, and we're going to be drinking straight out of the tank. After that, we're going to come up and drink our IPA. What makes this different is that we add a little roasted chocolate malt to it. So we soften it up so it's not any IPA haters would actually like it. So we've even had ladies uh, say, I don't drink beer, and they drink this. After that, I am going to introduce our cocktail that we made with the Dutch Blonde. So now you have Dutch Blonde. We add a little vodka to it little bit of uh, peach schnapps, a little bit of orange that we squeeze into it. We mix, the, mix it with our Dutch Blonde beer and we turn her from a Dutch Blonde into a Naughty Blonde. <laughs> Dear Pelil, there's a story behind it. We had uh, the British sailors, they wanted to leave from the United Kingdom, take something that they could trade with the people in the East. Now, they made the beer, they made it uh, as they would drink it in, in the United Kingdom, they start transporting across the journey. Now it would take one to two months sometimes to get to where they need to be. And as they were going, they were noticing that the beer was turning sour and it was going bad. So before it got to their destination, they started drinking it and they finished it all up before they could use it for trade. So the next time they went out again, they tried to figure out how to preserve the beer. So what they did was they added more hops to it. And as you add more hops to a beer, it preserves the taste and it keeps it the shelf life a bit much longer and this is why it's called India Pale Ale because they took that to India and traded with the merchants out there and in return they got silk and cotton. The other three beers that we have one is uh, it's called a Helles which is our San Martin beer it's the closest to a lager that you're gonna drink. The light beer the one that we make is 3% in uh, ABV which is the alcohol and it's only 65 calories. And lastly, it's our uh, award-winning Dutch Blonde Ale. Uh, that's a wheat beer, usually drunk with, uh, with a slice of orange uh, to enhance the flavor of the beer. Okay, let's go down and drink right from the tap. Come this way. What I want you to do is pull the glass from underneath. Like this? Put your hand underneath. Ah, underneath. Correct, that way you can, your audience can see it. I want you to turn that lever slowly my way. Okay, slowly. And tip your glass a little bit more. Okay, so foaming. There you go. It will have less foam. Less foam. And pour it all the way to the top. There you go. Working. Brilliant. Like I knew what I was doing, huh? That's it, and you're done. Okay, this this glass is so cool. It's it is nice, the, right? It's an yeah, upside down bottle. It's an upside down bottle yes, inside the glass. That's Sunil's design right there. And it keeps it clean. Absolutely. It's Here. a double glass, so you actually don't get to to warm up your, 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 your beer. I want to thank everybody for coming to this tour. Uh, like I had promised you up front that this is going to be a very different experience that you have on our island. We got to drink straight out of the tank, and you got to hear a little bit of my story. Thank you all again. Thanks for watching American Travelers.